Rock climbing is a growth business, and it's great for strength training, cardio, and for the mind. We're here at Gravity Vault in Chatham. We're here at Gravity Vault in Chatham, and I'm joined by Chris DiMatteo, the assistant manager. Chris, this place is really big, and you guys have multiple locations, but yet Gravity Vault is very much a local New Jersey business. Can you talk a little bit about the history? Yeah, absolutely. Um, in 2005, it was founded by Lucas and Tim. They created the first Gravity Vault up in by Ramsey, up Shadow River. And then we created Chatham in 2000, late 2009, and we're going to be celebrating 10 years in December. Um, 2013, we started expanding out with some franchise locations, starting with Middletown. Um, and since then, we've expanded. We now have nine facilities throughout New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and New York. Um, and we're looking to open up a few more next year, and, or well, this year, technically. And uh, it's kind of how we all started. Um, it's been great. We've been growing. People love it. The sport of indoor climbing has really helped introduce people to the sport and help them get adjusted and making that transition from indoors to outdoors. And it's a nice place for families and people who just want to train to go outside. It's a, it's a huge growth business. A, a friend yeah. of mine told me that climbing is her favorite form of exercise because she finds it super effective. Can you tell me how do people get started? So there are a couple ways. Um, I know years ago it used to be, oh, we're going to go outside, we're going to go rock climbing and take your friends with you. The great thing with the gravity vault and indoor rock climbing in general is you get to go inside and you have a safer environment to get used to it. Um, come inside, we have ballet classes and different adult classes that allow you to learn the technique and the basics of it, such as like mansion rope, top roping, where if you look behind you, uh, the ropes are tied up with the anchors above you, um, and it's slack management from there. You learn how to tie in with a figure eight ball through knot, and then just proper rope management from there. Um, it's a great place to start from there. You get to learn inside, you get to build up a core base of friends, all in the climbing community. You get to meet a lot of veterans of the sport, and they help take you outside between guides and just people who have been climbing outside themselves for the better part of, let's say, some people three years, some people five, others maybe even 30. Um, it's a great place to start, especially indoors. And it's great for strength training. It's good for uh, aerobic exercise. You also mentioned to me that there is a strong mental component too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a lot of people assume when they think about climbing, it's all upper body. And you go by speed and you try to get there as fast as you can, but it's, it's not quite like that. Um, a lot of times you're going to be trying to problem solve. Uh, it's a lot of puzzles. Uh, when you look at climbing, it's based off the Yosemite decimal system, at least here in the States, and you go up and you try to work up each grade. Each one is a different puzzle that you have to solve. So as you go through that, not only are you thinking about, like, where does my body position need to go, but you're also dealing with the mental side effects of the heights, uh, trusting gear, and then trusting the people you're climbing with. And that trust shows a lot in your climbing, it helps you relax. And if you can't relax, it's going to be harder. Uh, you over grip, you hold your breath, and it's going to make it just more challenging on you. And sometimes, uh, like we're talking, sometimes you get up to the top and it takes a second to kind of get relieved and you're like, okay, I'm safe, like I'm going to be fine. I can trust this equipment and come down. But when you first start, it's not always like that. You have that little mental aspect where you're kind of like, oof, you know? I'm not big on heights, so I hope that I can actually get to the top. Here at Gravity Vault, I know that you guys handle walk-ins, there are memberships. Can you tell us how it works? Yeah, absolutely. Um, usually for first-time climbers, I suggest them to one of our private sessions. Uh, it's a one-hour session with one of our instructors, the reservation based. You come in, um, we can accommodate anyone from one to four climbers for the hour. Uh, we take you through the gym. Uh, we start with some easier walls in the front that we refer to as like the party walls, beginner walls. Um, they're right over here, actually. You get some fun pieces on the walls, some penguins or, you know, just trains. And you get to climb up that, get used to the height, get used to coming down. Then after that, we take you from easier to harder climbs throughout the facility and allow you to experience different parts of the gym, different parts of climbing. Like sometimes you have overhangs, um, sometimes you have a flatter wall or something you have to lean in on. And all those you get to build on with our staff for your first time. And then if you like it, we introduce you to like our ballet classes. Then we have memberships anywhere from one, three months, and then even year memberships. Those annual memberships are great. They allow you to get to all our facilities as I was saying earlier, we have nine. So if you're like a businessman, you're traveling around the state all the time, instead of always being like, I need to get back to Chatham, when you get climbing, you'd be able to stop at our other facilities as well. So, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So, I saw that you have an event coming up, Climb with a Cop, that is for the benefit of the New Jersey Special Olympics. Yeah. 
What kind of um, community involvement and support uh, are, are you guys, uh, you know, what kind of things do you guys do? So uh, specifically, we'll start with that one. Uh, the Special Olympics in New Jersey, we're going to be hosting that on February 10th here from 9 a.m. until 12, um, where we'll be training the cops on how to manage the ropes. And they get to come in here and they get to work with just any customers that come through the door. And anything that we raise that day from cash, credit to checks, we donate that to the Special Olympics in New Jersey. And that's just one of the many fundraisers we do throughout the year. Um, other times, we have fundraisers or donations that we do to help introduce people to the sport while also helping the community. In years past, we used to go out and help different towns, such as Chatham, Madison, or Summit, where you go out and help them clean up the towns as well. Um, like especially midsummer, go out there, help them clean up some weeds, clean up any trash, get it prepared for summer, so that way the tourist season can go off without a hitch. Um, this is one of the many things that we do. Well, that is fantastic. Thank you for sharing uh, the business and telling us more about it, Chris. If you like this video, please like and subscribe at buylocalnj.com. Uh, we thank you for buying local and helping to build stronger communities. Thank you, Chris. You're very welcome. Thank you.